What is meditation? Another way of putting, what is meditation? Another way of understanding meditation is unbroken series of maintaining a desire. If you don't have desire for the realization of, say, God or Sina, love for Sina Krishna, then you will not succeed in thinking of Him. That is why it is said only Mumukshuta is there. Then the meditation follows automatically because you have a desire. Yeah. Suppose there is a glutton. Understand he is also a poor man. His desire is not fulfilled. But here, terrible, the desire is not satisfied. What do you think he will become next world? Then you know, he will be born with a six and a half feet tall and there will be stomach from here to here, <laughs> this much leg, this much head, and the rest is only stomach mm-hmm. and a big mouth <laughs> and terrific digestive power. Besides the driving force, yeah? This is, this is not a joke. It's how we create our bodies. So if a person wants to be a yogi, then he has to create a yogic body. That's why Sri Ramakrishna used to tell uh, by some physiognomy, you can see so this person is a worldly person, this person is a spiritual person. He used to tell clearly, because he used to understand the body is a creation of our own desire. Like, you know, the, your dress. You create your own dress, is it not? You don't go on uh, buying a dress which is fit for six and a half feet human being. You buy exactly to your measurements. What makes you? Because your body is this much. It, it is fits just as you choose your dress. See, what people don't know is we choose our own bodies. So if somebody says, I would like to have that kind of body, you, you can, that person can get it, not in this life, but next life. But at the same time, he must keep up that intense desire. If he loses his I if by, by chance if I get that kind of body, it would be fine. And by chance he will not, he is never going to get it. There is no chance according to Hindu philosophy. That is why if somebody has a desire, I want to be able to eat nicely. He has to earn, not only he must have desire, he must also, he is, is capable of uh, almost like buying that body. How does he buy? How do, buy, how do you buy things? on the internet. How do you buy things on the internet? How do you buy? The credit cards. You must have a credit card. Mm-hmm. So there must be a credit. Simply saying that uh, I will uh, become a great musician. And that is not going to happen. You go on practice. You know what is practice? Practice is a bahana. The practice increases the desire. You see, you see, you go on getting more and more happiness, then it creates, uh, re- re- reinforces the desire, and desire reinforces the activity, activity reinforces the desire. That is how you create and this vasana, either next birth or next birth or next birth, it will, the, what is called? body is created. Now, what is the strange thing, you know? Most of these singers are rarely beautiful. They look more like buffaloes. Have you noticed? Either Lata Mangeshkar or Nandar Padwar or all these fellows. I mean, comparatively, you know, they are not beautiful human beings. Why? Because this doesn't go together. Beautiful human being will not have beautiful sound box. It's a very rare combination. Understand? But Subhalakshana is beautiful, 
you know, I am giving yeah, general, general, general description. I don't think so. there are so many very beautiful ladies out there. Oh, they are super lovely. But I am not saying it is impossible. What I am saying is it's very rare because these people focus on that particular quality. Mm-hmm. All these people. Bala Morali Krishna, you know, there is a very interesting is a du- duet with Bhims and Joshi and Bala Morali Krishna. This Bhims and Joshi. Oh, 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 my God, this Bala Morali Krishna every time that sings, you know, oh, 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 Whereas this Bala Morali Krishna, oh, 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 Of course, they are kept sufficiently at a distance that Bhim Sanjushi will not knock his Bala Morali Krishna's body like that. That's why for spiritual aspirants we can develop. So desire is there, it has to be developed. And the appropriate instrument is also developed. What we should not forget? That mind is not the only instrument. Body also is an instrument. So Sri Ramakrishna used to say, to be able to sit, one must have that appropriate body. You know, this buttock formation, to be able to sit on the floor and then to be perfectly balanced, that requires a special type of body. And yogis, he said, I could recognize yogi. They are born like that. He had made peculiar comments, Sri Ramakrishna, very difficult to understand. He said, some women, you can see their behinds, like an ant, he said. Black ant. <laughs> Have you read? Yeah, the great master. He said, those people are very, very worldly people. They, you, you have read that? Yeah. You have not read? Yeah. But you, you are keeping quiet. <laughs> <laughs> These are all things which we are not aware. That's why he could be moved. First to think, Sri Ramakrishna looks at the physiognomy and he can immediately come to know who he has got, how much spiritual desire, how much potentiality is there. And to some people, it's in this life not possible. Because he could see he may have desire, some good samskara, but the instrument is not appropriate. In fact, yeah, so many things are not recorded. Mm-hmm. One such thing was that he, he told to one, one devotee, there is only one instance, that there may be hundreds of instances like that. And this person appeared to be very, very intense uh, for spiritual life. He said, this person will not be able to sustain it. He falls a victim to lust. Uh, he is going to fall victim to lust. And at that time, nobody would have agreed with his Ramakrishna. Because this man's mental condition was something totally different. Mm-hmm. But after a few years, it came true that he could not control his, this thing and he rushed into marriage and he suffered a lot. And then Holy Mother's that instant, you remember, two young men, her own disciples, one said, I want to be a monk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another said, I want to be a householder. To the person who said, I want to be a householder, to both of them, she said no. To the person who wanted to be a monk, she said, no, God has created two eyes, two ears and two hands. So created man and woman as a pair. And to other man said, these are all just because you are young, some desires will come, but after a few years they will disappear. So wait, my son. And they took Guru's words. And after a few years it so happened, the man who wanted to become a monk, he got married and he remained a good devotee. And the man who wanted to marry, he became, he lived like a monk's life. He didn't become monk. But he remained, uh, led a pure life, dedicating, he was a school teacher or something like that. 
So they could see that in whom the tendencies are very strong. They could see that. But in any case, whether a person has got some worldly tendencies or not, this is how we evolve, you know, we progress. Yes, okay, in this life we may have to go through some experiences, but the future is always open. Very good. All right, Pam. Yes, yes. Uh, you, there is another book in the, you go and see this, translation of this book okay. in the... Hmm? Uh -huh.